This is not. This is not hard. Look away. Hi guys, my name is Jackie. <coughs> The difference between martial arts and screen fighting is they're like on the opposite spectrum, but it's so weird. Even though they're so opposite, they're also very similar. What's crazy is you think you're doing a move that looks huge and it's going to show up on camera. And then you look at the camera and you're like, what, what, what was that? <laughs> then you have to force yourself to make what would be considered sloppy or incorrect things in martial arts standards but this is totally the right way to do it in screen fighting. There's always something about making magic with your brothers. Like there, there's just something that you can't really compare it. To. And especially when you have me, Josh, Devontae, the three of us, and like prior to Kingdom Hearts, we had so many days every single week together shooting practice fights. We built such a strong brotherly bond. We did all that for when the day comes where we shoot something like Kingdom Hearts, all of us were able to just click so well. The style of this, we really wanted to bring in a lot of anime influences. It gives it a very dynamic feel when you add some of these anime style camera moves and it gives it a lot of energy. And that's what we wanted this piece to feel like because when you're playing the game, there's so much energy and it feels so badass when you're whipping around and the camera's just zooming around with you. I love making it feel like that swipe is coming directly for you or that blade's coming right over top of camera because it feels like you were in there dodging strikes with the character. So my least favorite part is trying to get my body to go against muscle memory. Man, Jackie, Jackie, he does these sword movements and it is, he makes it look so easy. I think that the best way to learning anything is just to like really just do it. My background with sword started from wushu, which is um, pretty much like another type of like Chinese martial arts. But I would actually just go on YouTube and just learn it through there. So when I first learned sword, I think I was like four years old. That was when I picked up my first broadsword. Uh, my first broadsword, my uh, master at the time actually like carved out my name. We wanted the first half of the fight to feel like nonchalant, like she had this under control, boom, just dodging strikes casually. And then the near claw miss, where you just see a wisp of hair come out, that's when she goes, screw this, time for me to get serious. And that's when she does the circular strike. She spins in a 360 circle that sets up the cheat seven, where she kicks three dudes and the last dude gets exploded into sparks because the kick's so powerful. That's one of my favorite moves in the entire piece. I love that move. That was Devante wanted to throw that in. In, the, in Kingdom Hearts 3, one of the things that we wanted to incorporate is the blade disappears and then reappears. And I wanted to try to elevate that and use that as part of the fight choreography. To, to make it feel like, so it's not just like the blade disappearing and reappearing and like, like that's cool, but to make that part of the fighting style, to make it feel, to like fate the heartless out where she goes to strike, the blade disappears. So, so it becomes an element of the fighting style as opposed to just being, oh, I can make the blade disappear and reappear. My favorite choreography sequence would hands down have to be when Zeta did this cool, this cool knee sweep with like the art, like the sword going underneath like a couple of the villain's legs. It just, it was such a dynamic move because she wasn't just going for one, she was going for like a couple. She's fighting five, six different creatures. So like she has to have like wide movements, get everyone away. The, their fighting style was very animalistic. And so when we set out to do choreography for that, we wanted everything to be very weird movements, but all the strikes were slashes because we had these gigantic claws on each of the, the, the Heartless. And so everything, we wanted to feel very gritty, like, like they were trying to tear Kyrie apart. Everything was like these vicious <laughs> things that, that felt Again, terrifying. There were a couple kicks, but mainly the kicks were, were when they were just getting out of reach. We wanted everything to feel wet, like it was a bear or an eagle or jaguars coming in slashing. And so that everything felt like these Heartless were trying to tear Kyrie apart. 
We had four Heartless on set at any time, sometimes five, because sometimes we threw Devonte in a suit, sometimes we threw Jackie in a suit. These guys are so talented that they were able to pick up this choreo super fast and Im imbue these characters with their own style and aesthetic and were able to bring the Heartless to life in such a cool way. And I'm so thankful for, for, my, for my stunt team. I'm so thankful to them because when Jackie and Julia were in the costume, they couldn't see anything. Without them, we wouldn't have been able to do the moves that we did because at the end of the day, if Jackie's swinging too wide, they needed to be able to adjust on the fly and make that, that, that Keyblade strike look like a near miss. It's on them to try to strike, oh, Jackie's not where he needs to be, so they need to reach further. They need to adjust their feet and, and change the angle of the strike. And it was all just magic to try to do a, a, a fight where the, the lead couldn't see, and these guys are in wardrobe where all in black with these tiny, tiny eye slits. I'm so thankful that everybody on the stunt team was so attentive, caring, kind, and just really, really, they brought so much to this that it just changed what this thing is and, and how we were able to get it done. When it came to Kyrie's movement, I wanted to make you feel like it may be Sora because I wanted in the back of your brain to go, That's, that doesn't feel like Sora, who could this be? One of the things that I'm sad we had to cut due to time is we had this really, really dope takedown move where Kyrie was gonna roll to the ground, take down a Heartless, twirl the blade and stab the blade in the Heartless chest. But due to time constraints, we had to cut that. Julia's background being a wrestler, I thought that was a really unique move and also kind of speaks to Kyrie's evolution and maybe the, the, the path that Kyrie took and her evolution and fighting style. For anyone who's trying to get into stunts or action acting, I highly suggest a lot of training in stunts as well as acting because you need both. And it's really putting in the time. It's putting in time working with people who are passionate that wants to work on projects and really make everything come to life. I'm just grateful that it's such a balanced dynamic where Josh being so knowledgeable with him as like the director and like guiding everyone being so kind, but also not having an ego and listening into everyone's ideas. I think that is honestly the most important thing that really just made me and Devonte work. Thank you guys so much for watching this Anatomy of a Fight. It was a really, really cool project to bring to life because I think it's different than everything we've done before. And uh, let us know what you think. Was the, what was your favorite part of the fights? What, is there something else you want to know about for the Anatomy of a Fight? Let me know in the comments below.